Hi friends, my name is Justine, but you can call me Blondie, and today's video is going to be what is in my kids' stockings. I have four kids, a 10-year-old boy, and then three girls who are six, three, and one. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to get started and start off with the things that they are all getting that are the same, or at least mostly the same. Starting off with candy, and I actually did not get them that much candy this year, especially compared to past years. Um, I didn't plan it that way. It wasn't intentional. I just... That's just what happened. I went and looked at everything I had gotten them and I was like, wow, I did not get them that much candy this year. Starting off, they always get these. In the past, I've done two. Um, I'll, I'll usually do like a fruity one and a chocolate one. This year, they're just getting the chocolate ones. And they are the Hershey's Kisses. I don't know if you can see because the glare from my light, but they're the Hershey's Kisses ones. And then the second candy they are all getting are these Haribo gummy bears. These are my favorites, the Christmas ones that have the green and red, the raspberry and strawberry flavors. My absolute favorite. Um, so they're each getting one of these as well. Uh, I'm not even entirely, um, I, I don't think my one-year-old can really chew on these. It depends on how soft they are. Um, but that just means I can have them and they are my favorite. So um, these for all four stockings as well. They're all getting one of these Crayola bath bombs. My one-year-old's never had a bath bomb before. Um, so this will be her very first bath bomb. They're the Crayola ones from Walmart. Everything that I'm showing y'all is from Walmart or Dollar Tree. I think one thing is from Sheen, two things are from Sheen, that's it. If y'all hear talking, my husband's playing World of Warcraft right now. So they're all getting a bath bomb and then they're also gonna get all bath paints, but honestly, um, they're all getting a different color, but they'll all share them, you know? So um, we've got pink, purple, green, and blue. My 10 year old might be a little too old for finger bath paints, but he's getting one anyways. It's hard when, you, when your kids grow up and they like outgrow something. But he's, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if this is something he'd be interested in still. Everybody's getting some toothbrushes. So these are for the three big kids. These are from Dollar Tree, the Firefly ones. So um, Hello Kitty for my oldest daughter, um, Avengers for my son, um, My Little Pony for my middle daughter. And then the baby is, I got hers at Walmart because I couldn't find like a baby toothbrush. I guess, she, uh, I was gonna say I guess she could have had a kid toothbrush, but they do look a little big still. So I got her this little baby one at Walmart, the Colgate, and it has like a little elephant, comes with training toothpaste. And then the three big kids also got toothpaste. Um, I tried to get them all different ones so they know whose is whose. So we've got like the Colgate kids in, um, what flavor is this? Bubble fruit. And then we've got um, this dinosaur. Colgate is also bubble fruit. Um, and then this one is the fresh mint. So all Colgate. These two small ones were from Dollar Tree though and this one's from Walmart. Um, but they are all, I think they're all the same size. Oh no, the Dollar Tree ones are actually bigger. They are 3.5 ounces and the Walmart one is 2.7 ounces and they were all a dollar. Well, I guess the Dollar Tree ones were $1.25 now. But yeah, so toothbrushes, toothpaste, and then three older kids are also each getting a bag of flossers. Um, the kid flossers that look like this. And yeah. I always like to try to put some personal care items. Oh, my two oldest. My two oldest are also getting mouthwash. Um, the, the, the younger two would drink them. So only the older two are getting them. And then more personal care items. They're all getting some soap. This lavender Sesame Street for the one-year-old. Cocoa melon for the three-year-old. If you saw my, what I got my kids for Christmas, or even my, she, she had a whole Coco Melon birthday party a month ago. Um, she loves Coco Melon. Uh, Frozen for the six year old. And then again, my 10 year old, I don't know if I get him kids. I don't know if I get him men's. Um, but I, th he, they didn't really have any character ones that he would like. So I just got this um, watermelon blast shampoo. Preteens are hard, man. It's like, I, I don't know how to, how to do the transition like they're still kids but they're they're an older kid and anyways and then oh actually I did get these from five below so I guess that's another store I shopped at but you can get them anywhere it's just play-doh um, I got two packs of play-doh so 12 colors total um, they'll, they will each get three colors, but um, they always end up in the same bin um, and all the kids share them anyways so they're all getting some play-doh 
And then something that the three older kids are getting are like some window glass paintings. For my two older girls, they're getting these ones which are Ladybug, um, Miraculous Ladybug, and then Spider-Man for my son. And then these other ones, Sun Catchers. These ones um, say Sun Catchers. So Dragon for my son, um, Mermaids for my girls. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to my son's stuff. He does have these two um, dinosaur puzzles. Um, it looks like one is a raptor and one is a spinosaurus. I'm not really good with dinosaur names and these don't look like they have the names on them, but I think that's a raptor. And it's a 3D puzzle. I thought that was pretty cool. You gotta build it. And then here's a spinosaurus looking one. I thought those were like perfect stocking stuffers. Um, and then another little grab toy, just a, a little dinosaur. I thought it was cool, I don't know. A bunch of knockoff Legos. These are Make It blocks, but they are compatible with name brand Legos. And so this first one is a five piece aliens slash extraterrestrials. Can you see it? Let's get that glare from my light off of it. They're like, Oh my gosh, I wish I could get a good close-up without the glare, but they're like alien Legos. I thought they were really cool, and I've never seen anything um, quite like them before. And then they got the, di uh, I, well, I got him the um, Dino World, and it comes with three little dino-looking guys. Honestly, it looks like they're trying to make him look like the, the guys from Jurassic World. Oh my gosh, that glare, you can't even see it that good. Well, dino guys, and then also these are super villains. I thought they were kind of fun too. They've got like different color skin skin tones. They've got a, like a gray and a green and a red. So I thought those were fun, like kind of different. Not so much the dinosaur ones, but the aliens and the super villains. My middle two daughters are both gonna get these little tiaras. I'm gonna have to put these on top of their stocking because no way they're gonna fit. Something I should have mentioned, I always go overboard with the stockings. My kids often, I will either put things like around their stocking that doesn't fit or I will just, we have more than like one stocking. Um, so I will just fill up their other stockings, but I didn't even show their stockings. Okay, I'll do that at the end of the video. I usually do that at the beginning, um, but two little crowns. This one looks like it's missing a gem right here, but all of the crowns in Dollar Tree um, were like that. Like, I think it's meant to be silver. Um, so two little tiaras and I thought these were so cute. These are called Friends Forever Club and they're these little dolls and for Dollar Tree they seemed like really good like quality dolls because you know sometimes the Barbies and stuff at Dollar Tree are really cheap. Um, these look like really good quality and so we've got this one. Her name is Iha. She has um, black hair. She has blue hair in the picture. Does she, does it change color? I don't know, in the picture on the thing, her hair is blue. Well, anyways, and it has like a whole thing about stuff they like. So like, she likes the sea, and then this one is Viera, and she likes crystals and gemstones. And I just think they're so cute. And Viera has pink hair. How cute! So those for the girls. And then these are light up wands. I didn't even realize they were light up till after I bought them. But um, a pink one and a purple one, just princess wands to go with their princess crowns, I guess. These are from Shein. Each girl is getting a three pack of bracelets. Um, so there's those and then these ones. It has a unicorn, um, a rainbow and a flower. I don't even think y'all can see. So they're each getting three little bracelets, like stacking bracelets. And then all three of my girls are getting a little stuffed animal. So I got a pink and purple bear for the six-year-old, a blue frog for the three-year-old, and then a monkey for the one-year-old. So we call her a little monkey because she likes to, she, she's at that age where she started climbing on stuff. So how cute are they? And then the one thing that the six-year-old got that none of the other kids got is this um, like LOL like coloring book and stickers. So it's a surprise bag, I guess, but it comes with a coloring book and stickers um, and a little um, marker thing. So she is really into LOL dolls right now. So she's getting this. And then the 
three-year-old and one-year-old are both getting these little finger paints. One is Coco Melon and one is Baby Shark. And then on it to my one-year-old. Um, so um, don't forget about the stuff that I've showed that all the kids are getting because it's going to look like my one-year-old's not getting anything. Dollar Tree has these little bags of food and I mentioned in my what I got my kids for Christmas video um, We have a toy kitchen um, My three-year-old is getting like a basket of toy food for Christmas and I had already bought that I saw this at Dollar Tree and was like They can always use more toy food So we've got one little bag with fruits and I'm gonna take these out of the bag to put in her stocking So that way it's like more it, it seems like more stuff than it is. I don't know um, but a bunch of little toy food. So this one's fruit. This one looks like desserts and dairy products maybe. It has milk, donuts, um, ice cream. And this also seems like pretty good quality, especially for Dollar Tree. It seems like the same quality toy food you'd get anywhere else. Um, and then this one is vegetables. And they had one more. I forget what it was though. Um, but these three, um, I don't know seemed the best. I don't, I don't even remember what the other one was, was, but I remember I didn't like it as much. Um, so that is everything my kids are getting in their stockings, but let me grab their stockings real quick for y'all. Okay, so my kids have so many stockings. They have like monogrammed stockings, but these are the ones that I've kind of dubbed their main stockings because the quality is so good. The brand is um, Kurt S. Adler. And I love them. And, and plus they're fun, especially for kids. You know, they're only going to be kids once. So I love the, the character stockings. Um, so Grinch for my oldest. Mickey and Minnie Mouse for my second oldest. And Pluto's down there too. Paw Patrol for my third. And... Llama Llama for my youngest. So those are like their main stockings, but I will usually fill up multiple stockings um, because they, I, I do go a little, just, just a little overboard with the stocking stuffers. So I usually fill these up and multiple up. And if you saw my vlog, I think it was my first Vlogmas vlog where I showed my home decor. We have stockings all over the house. So I just take them off the wall. I put them up on the wall with tacks and I just take them off the wall and fill them up. So that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, and thank you all so much for watching. Bye, friends.